Today, Texas veterans are going to be honored for their role in ending the Holocaust. Just hours from now, World War II veterans who helped liberate Nazi death camps are going to gather at the Capitol in Austin to receive the recognition they so deserve. Chris Davis is following the story for us. Good morning. Well, good morning, John and Sally. That ceremony will be taking place again at the Capitol with a handful of living Texas liberators and families of dozens more who have passed. Now, take a look here at this video wall. The ceremony comes as the Texas Holocaust and Genocide Commission launches this project. We're clicking around in this app. You can go and find this yourself. Click around and actually walk through the liberation of a concentration camp. And if camp and if you click on uh, one of these red arrows a, a point of interest uh, throughout here you can uh, sort of see the liberation as it's happening and hear from people who were there like the man you're about to meet long retired now in northwest austin 98 year old herbert stern has only memories of his time in the army and this was in the town square his unit the 9th infantry went into northeast germany in the spring of 1945 we knew nothing about any concentration camps or slave labor camps there. The camp they came across, Nordhausen, the site of a hidden missile factory. What we saw almost immediately was uh, outside of bombed out uh, long barracks, uh, bodies, I would say probably three, four hundred of them, all in a row laid out skeletons. It is something that is very hard to relive. The Texas Holocaust and Genocide Commission collected stories from 21 Texas liberators, including Stern. Commissioner Fran Berg says the project produced a book, an exhibit, and this app that takes you inside a liberation. And you'll go to the barracks. You'll hear from people who were there, like Berg's dad. Well, there he is. He helped free prisoners at Dachau and couldn't talk about it. He did it one time on tape and he has provided a legacy for us, his children, to carry on. That's what the commission is trying to preserve, stories like Stern's. I mean, you've never seen anything like this. It's the most terrible thing that you see. The commission hopes the focus on the Holocaust will help stop future and current genocide events. The ceremony today kicks off at 1.30 in the Senate chambers. We'll link to the site where you can find those stories and that app we showed you earlier on our website. Back to you.